I remember I uh, was in Dubai and my secretary rang up that the nurse attached to your mother took her out for a walk and your mother could see the color of the flowers. And I suddenly I understood, I said to mommy, can see now, at least if she can see color. So I flew straight from Dubai to Bombay and I stayed in the hotel and uh, my mother had already checked in there. I said, bring mommy to Bombay. And the nurse said that you know, she's looking out the window and she could see the headlights, the cars, because, because she said that uh, uh, so many cars are coming in, but why is Shana's car not coming? So then she realized that she could see the headlights. In short, in six months, my mother was reading newspapers. She finally came back to the company and she was a great help in the sense that um, she was always there for me. But the very beautiful part was she could see me. That is when I realized that uh, something very beautiful had been created for, that's when I realized something very beautiful had been created for mummy with the help of Ayurveda. I think if mummy had not lost her sight and not become blind, I would not have been so intense and so disturbed that, you know, I can't see mummy blind and the doctors say that she'll never get her eyesight back. So I always said that this particular formulation brought back your eyes, mummy. And she said, no, I used to pray on the on that uh, drops three times a day and my prayers got it back. <laughs> so I said, anyway, well, whether your prayers got it back or my herbs got it back, the fact remains you did get it back. So, you know, this particular herb in Ayurveda says it's, it's the herb for eternal sight. But, you know, Ayurveda mentions uh, sentences in extremes. So eternal sight means improved sight. So in the same way, there are certain herbs which says eternal youth or eternal beauty or for the regrowth of the hair. So we formulated all those uh, ancient Ayurvedic formulations into treatments and cures. Actually, uh, for a long time, the public has always been confused in exactly what I am. I'm not a beautician at all. We didn't do the care of falling hair, dandruff, acne pigmentation, smallpox scars, acne scars, aging. Um, age spots, burns, or, or any disfiguration of the skin by way of external problems. Even birthmarks we managed to lighten to a large extent. But our research constantly goes on and very often a line might take uh, four, five, six years to research, but it takes a whole lifetime of work. I remember once I had worked in the factory all night and I came back early in the morning and I was wearing my boots and my coat and my husband gave me one look and said that, oh, he was ready so early in the morning. And he didn't realize that I'd worked all night. And I just went into the next day. It's, you know, it becomes really the sole purpose of your existence because uh, you live and breathe the crusade that you dedicate your life to. I think that it's important in life that you, you dedicate and crusade your vocation. In life, I think it's not important what you want. What really matters is how badly you want it. I think that there is no such thing as destiny. You make your own destiny. You'll be what you will yourself to be. In life, it's not important what you want. I think what really matters is how badly you want it. For me, Ayurveda has been a crusade. I will, as long as I live, promote Ayurveda, not within India, but internationally, until Ayurveda becomes a household name. I remember the press conference in America, a uh, press person stood up and said that, uh, I don't think you deserve this award. I said, why? He said, uh, because we have herbs, so do you. In fact, several countries have it. What's so special about India? that you have got this World's Greatest Woman Entrepreneur Award. And I said, I'll explain that. I said, uh, as uh, far as you're concerned, you have formulations that are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100, 500 years old. We have formulations 5,000 BC. The other difference is that you sell a brand or a product or a company or an image or a name in a jar I am selling India's 5,000-year-old civilization in a jar. That's the difference. So 
So then he said that uh, yesterday we didn't hear about India. Today you say you're the greatest. So don't you have money to advertise? I said that's not the problem. We can advertise the best people in the world. But the fact remains that you can't ever that. The fact remains you can't advertise a culture or a heritage or a civilization. I said go home and read about India. You need a book, not an ad. He agreed.